Tomorrow marks 15 years since the catastrophic collapse of the 35W bridge into the Mississippi River, which killed 13 and injured dozens more. Federal safety investigators determined a design flaw was to blame, but the tragedy sparked concern about the nation's failing infrastructure. Caroline Cummings reports on what's changed in the years since the disaster to ensure safety. The stunning images of a bridge carrying Minnesotans during rush hour crumbling into the Mississippi River are seared into memory. A state investigative report after the tragedy summed it up like this. Lives were shattered by the collapse of the I-35W bridge. So too was confidence in the safety of Minnesota's bridges. 15 years later, a bridge rebuilt and policy changed. Can Minnesotans feel confident in the safety of the state's bridges today? Yes, absolutely. That's our job number one. A bipartisan committee at the Minnesota legislature convened and it contracted with a firm to do an investigation. The findings put the Minnesota Department of Transportation under heavy scrutiny. Ed Ludkin, the state bridge engineer at the agency, worked on figuring out what happened for months after the collapse, working on the scene nearly every day. Protocol, he says, has improved. Looking at the bridge inspection program, we have better quality control, better quality assurance. We've improved training, we've improved resources for people. We're making sure that every bridge gets inspected every two years and poor bridges gets inspected every year. The Minnesota legislature raised the gas tax in 2008 to boost transportation funding, the first increase like it in 20 years. That supported the bridge improvement program, which directed MnDOT to prioritize deteriorating bridges with the greatest need for fixing. 172 targeted then, all either repaired or replaced by the time the program sunset in 2018. Ludkin says the state has cut down on the number of bridges in poor condition by two-thirds since 2007. Last 15 years, we've improved tremendously in our bridge inspection program. Still, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave Minnesota a C grade for bridges in its infrastructure report card this year. 874 bridges identified as in poor condition. Minnesota is set to get billions of dollars from the federal infrastructure law, including $300 million in new money for bridges alone over five years. Experts welcome on this investment, but say it still falls short of the needs in future years. Well, it's only part of the funding picture and story, and so we have to use that and leverage that. In Minneapolis, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. There are 20,000 bridges in the state, and MnDOT is responsible for inspection of all of them.